Welcome back. It's a medical condition leaving a mark on legs around the world. I'm talking about varicose veins and spider veins, and they're attacking women of all ages. You made that sound very dramatic. <laughs> Here with us right now is Fiona, and Fiona's been battling these pesky blemishes for the past few years, and now today, live on The Better Show, she will undergo a medical treatment to erase the traces of her spider veins. Thank you for being here. Thank you. When did you first know that you were going to have a problem with these veins in your life? Um, when I was in my late teens, I started seeing some varicose veins, so they started after a while getting a little bigger, and I ended up getting one of them removed, actually, because it was bulging and it was made my legs a little tired. So that was a few years ago, and then recently I saw another vein forming, and I also saw some spider veins on the back of my legs. So I figured for preventative measures I would go see a vein doctor. But why? I mean, it does, it's not a health condition, right? It was more because you just didn't like the way it looked, right? Pretty much, yeah. The varicose, the varicose veins did make my legs a little tired, but the spider veins were pretty much just cosmetic. Didn't make you feel good about wearing skirts and things like that? Yeah, I was always a little self-conscious wearing skirts or bathing suits, you know, during the summer. Is uh -huh. it a hereditary thing? Is it this run in your family? Um, it's supposed to be hereditary, but my mom didn't have it and my grandmothers didn't have it. So I don't know, I guess I was an exception, but it m must have ran in the family at some point. Were there any remedies that were suggested to you, either by family or by the doctor? Um, the doctor did say maybe wear um, compression stockings. So I did it for a while and that relieved, you know, like kind of the tiredness a little bit, but it didn't get rid of the veins. Yeah, I wore those during my pregnancy. Yeah. I had <laughs> massive varicose veins and my husband would look at me and be like, those are dead sexy compression <laughs> socks. Well, we've got some help. We've got Dr. Luis Navarro here. He's right over there and we're going to set up a whole treatment area for you. You ready to go? Ready. All, All right, right, we're going to head over there and see this live and in person. All right, here we go. And we're here with Dr. Luis Navarro of the Vein Treatment Center. Thanks for being here. And Pleasure. Doctor, you're going to give uh, Fiona a treatment right I now, live on TV, and it might be something folks at home could consider if they've got spider veins? Absolutely. Okay, tell me a little bit about the machine that you're going to be using. Uh, with, using this machine and mechanical pressure, we achieve to inject the veins without any pain, make the treatment painless. And how quick do we see results? If you see the results immediately but the little redness, the black and blue, will take a couple of weeks to disappear completely. Now okay. this is one of the second treatments, or at least a couple of treatments Fiona has had. Is this for just for touch-ups, or is this something you do? No, that was another, other different veins. That, these areas are version. So what's the difference between a spider vein and a varicose vein? Spider veins are enlarged capillaries, around two millimeters in diameter, blue, purple, red, on the surface of the skin, mm -hmm. uh, usually in the, in the shape of a spider. Uh, varicose veins, they are bigger, four or five millimeters, under the skin, they are ropey, you can see them through the skin, they are green or blue. Mm. All right, Fiona, you ready? You feel good? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay, and you move a little bit further up, Fiona, for me, please. Okay. Now you said this is no pain, right? No pain at Absolutely. all? Absolutely. <laughs> we'll ask Fiona. Yeah, Fiona can, be, Fiona can be the judge of that. <laughs> And how long does this procedure usually take? Usually we put about 40 injections or more, up to 100 injections in a session. So it can take from a few minutes to 20 minutes. Depending on how bad the vein is? Yes, how many veins we inject at a time. The minimal amount of injections in one session at the office is 40 injections. Mm -hmm. And we do that several times in a single day or in consecutive days. So and, in, uh, and then patients need one follow-up to finish it off? No, they usually they need more. more but follows. doing intensive treatment, usually in uh, two or three days or a couple of weeks, we can achieve what regularly will take months. And what is exactly are you injecting her with? We're injecting a solution that irritates the inner lining of the vein, so that the vein shrinks Basically you're and heals killing down the vein. and disappears. Okay, we are going to inject this vein. Okay. How'd that feel? Were you able to feel that at all? I just feel the air. Just feel the air, wow. Here is at minus 20 degrees, so it numbs the skin immediately. Oh, wow. And the pressure just uh, overloads the sensory fibers so that the pain cannot go through. And it's literally it's disappearing before my eyes. It's amazing. It just, just disappeared as he, as he injected yeah. it. That's pretty cool.
on one side done. Now on the other side, because the veins are slightly larger, we'll use foam. A little bit will fo we'll form the same solution. Okay. And uh, it, it's slightly stronger. Slightly stronger medication. Are there any other remedies that people can do at home to try and get rid of them? And, no, sclerotherapy is the, the golden standard to treat small spider veins and, and reticular veins. So yeah. compression socks really are just... No, that uh, can help. It will avoid the progression of the disease, but it will not uh, stop the disease, mm -hmm. nor will cure the disease. And look at that, it's gone. It's gone. That's crazy. I know you're, you're a little bit flinching with the needles. I know, bit, I'm yeah. really bad with me. Despite having a child, I'm still very, <laughs> I'm very squeamish but around needles. But the nice needle. thing is that it's painless, and we can do very extended treatments and do in three or four days what it will take four or five Christina's or six flinching months. but Fiona's not. Fiona, Fiona's <laughs> just absolutely I'm fine. Sure. We're having a harder time. <laughs> and that basically is the last thing. They injection. look great by the way. They look great. They look great. <laughs> And basically that's it. Fantastic. That Perfectly clear. It's amazing. No time and now at all. we'll just uh, put a little bit of anti-inflammatory cream, wrap it for one hour. That's all. We'll see you next week. And maybe week. a little bruising, but really Exactly. Not. That's what we, if there is any bruising, we'll take one week to two weeks to disappear. That Sometimes is... there's a tiny little bit of redness, but the same thing, it disappears in the, wow. the next ten days to two weeks. Thank you so much, Dr. Navarro, for showing this impressive treatment. How are you Thank feeling, you Fiona? Much. Are you good? Yeah, I'm great. You're good. You're, your legs look great. Thank yeah, you for being so you. brave and getting the Sunforce live on the show. <laughs> we will be right back.